Hi everybody, Melinda Foster here with uh, Fun Life Twists. And um, as you can see, I've got my long hair in today. I always talk about different fun things you can do and maybe fun and fashion doesn't seem to be at the top of your list with this uh, global pandemic going on. But maybe for some of you, you're like, come on, I'm, this is the kind of girl I am. I like to uh, always look my best. And this topic of wearing masks in public is very big right now. Some of us can't even find masks, even if we wanted to wear them, but we do want to protect ourselves. We do want to protect ourselves from others and others from us, uh, back and forth. So um, a girlfriend asked me if I would show a few different ways to wear some scarves. And I have a few things that I pulled out. You know, one that probably most of us have in our uh, drawer or fashion drawer is just the basic, basic bandana. You know, here's the one in lime green, so it's a little fun and playful. Um, but you may have it in navy, you may have it in red, it doesn't matter. One fun thing to do, and I'm just gonna pull my luxurious faux locks out of the way, um, is to tie this casually around your neck. I'm just gonna do that real fast. Do, 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 do. And then, when the, when the uh, situation arises, because maybe you don't want to wear you know, a mask all the time when you're out in public, but you want to protect yourself in those certain situations. So you go to the grocery store, or maybe you pop into the dry cleaners or whatever, and then you just casually pull this up, just for those few moments when you're in that location where there are more people around and you're feeling maybe just a little bit more vulnerable. So to wear something a little loose like this, you can wear it in, you know, inside of a blouse, under a jacket, whatever. It looks very chic, but yet gives you that protection that you're looking for when that situation arises. So that's that's one way. Um, another is I am a huge fan. I've got, I've actually I'm a um, an accessory freak. I absolutely love you know necklaces and belts and earrings and scarves. And thank goodness now scarves are um, in a very weird sort of way very. Vogue again. So here's a beautiful big pashmina that I love. It's got beautiful different shades of, of blues and purples and turquoise. And what I do is I take this very long scarf and it's, it's like, as I'm holding it up, it's almost down to the floor. So what I do is I pull, take it exactly halfway and put it around my neck. And then I pull it back around and then I leave mine just loose. But there are lots of different ways you can wear it. You can wear it again, you know, you know, a little softer like this, you know, tucked into a jacket. If you live up north, it's still chilly outside, so you're, this is probably something that you wear all day anyway. And to simply take one of the, you know, fine layers and pull it up, you know, up over your face is a nice way to get that kind of protection, but yet not feel like you're walking around, you know, like a bandit the entire time of all of your day and everything. And then just gently pull it back down into place when you're not using it. So this is a very easy thing to do. You know, if you wanna get more creative, you can leave it loose like this. You know, you can take a scarf, you can pull it around your hair, you can, you know, make a wonderful, I'm not great with these, uh, you know, headband kinds of things, but a lot of women are. They, they um, really wear that kind of long type of a look around their head and, uh, I'll try it just for the heck of it here. We're going around here first and then pulling it around, crisscrossing it in the back here. And then if you just take one side here and then this could be the side that you just gently pull up. So again, simple ways to use beautiful scarves and um, be fashionable and also protect yourself and your family. You know, when you're out in public right now, um, Masks are not that readily accessible. Here's one of my other favorites, the same size as a basic bandana. This is an animal print. I picked this one out, especially for Mare. And what I do is I take it and I fold it so that the top is down here. And then I'm gonna fold the bottom up the exact same amount so that I have kind of a wide swath here. And that's what I'm going to use. I actually think this is one of my favorite looks because I feel like the, uh, the animal print makes it a little bit more chic. I have about mm, six inches wide, and then I put it, I'm gonna put it around my face here. It's 
harder to do that in, on camera than it is in person. <laughs> Here we go. Take two. And if you um, loosen it up a little bit, you can still breathe through it. You can still talk through it. It's muffled, of course, but it's not as obtrusive as maybe some of these masks that you have on and a little bit more fashionable. And when you're done with it, again, you can take it back and you can almost make what I like to think of as like a, a kind of a turtleneck. I, I like this look of a scarf tied right around your neck, kind of tight under a sweater, or even like what I have right now. I've just got a, you know, a strappy little t-shirt on and then you get that, that nice kind of look and then it's there, ready for you to use whenever you need it. So those are a few little tips and ways that you can pull scarves out. You know, you can get more creative. I mean, if you don't have any scarves, I mean, do you have any beautiful, um, like tulle fabric? There's another thing that you can use. You can wind around a couple times, put a pretty little pen in or whatever. That's one way of doing something. I even got really, you know, desperate and I thought, what if somebody just has some wide ribbon? Could you do this? And tie it up. Of course you could. So it just really depends on what your aesthetics are, what you want to do, and how important this, you know, being healthy in this extreme time is, as well as having a little fun and a little fashion along with it. So I hope that helps with you. Um, maybe it'll spur some ideas for you to come up with some things. Share them with us on the website, funlifetwists.com. Thanks so much.